everybody. It's been a little while. It is the first day of the new year and I just felt like talking to you about 2023 reading goals because I haven't done this in ages. <laughs> also, I need something to do to kill time because I'm literally waiting for paint to dry. After I film this, I need to go and buy more paint because this project just will not end. <laughs> So yeah, let's get into it. Um, I want to start off with a quick note about last year, like before I just blaze on into New Year stuff. Let's address 2022. Last year was an absolute purposeful skip year for me. I didn't set any goals. I really didn't track my reading much. I have no statistics. I'm probably not even going to do any end of the year videos, so there's probably not going to be a an annual reading statistics video. I'm probably not going to do a favorites of the year video either. I just, I didn't read enough stuff that I had extreme enthusiasm about to really make a video. Um, and, and that's fine. Last year was just, I was surviving. <laughs> I was getting through it and that's, that's fine. Um, I just don't really want to dwell on this past year that much and I'm looking forward to kind of refreshing myself and getting back into more of a groove with um, kind of like the reading community and my social circle and challenging myself with stuff again in the new year. So yeah, I'm not really one for New Year's resolutions, but this definitely seems like a time to just go for something different. <laughs> so with that, let's talk about what I want to achieve in 2023. My goals this year are extremely quantifiable. I don't know why. I sat down and I made this list really late at night, and then when I came back to look at it, I thought, all of these are, are just like counting. It's like making lists, <laughs> which I am fine with. Um, they're very simple goals, but I will try to succinctly explain like the point of tracking the thing because they're, they're a bit deeper. Like there's more of a purpose to them than just, you know, making numbers go up or down. So with that, let us dive into it. My first goal for 2023 is to read 12 books greater than 500 pages long. And yes, audiobooks count. There is a really stupid reason for this one. <laughs> I have noticed that um, since I started using the story graph, I use it in tandem with Goodreads. Um, the story graph's stats page has one of those pie charts for like a breakdown of the length of the books you've read. And for the past two years, the 500 pages plus category has been like five or six percent for me. And I'm annoyed. I want to see the number change. I want to see it go up. So if I read a minimum of 12 books that are longer than 500 pages long, it should bump me up to like 7% or something. Now the slightly less stupid reason for this is that I do feel like I've neglected big books over the past couple of years, mainly just because I've, I've been into reading short things, instant gratification, I've felt pressed for time, and I should just, you know, prioritize longer stuff because I do enjoy them. There are some specific books I've been putting off for a long time purely because they're long and it's time to actually try them. So basically, one long book per month. And like I said, audiobooks count. I always count the page length of the physical book when I am listening to it. And I don't have like a TBR of long books that I plan on reading this year, but I can tell you that the first three are almost certainly going to be Sea Sparrow by Kristen Kishore because I've already started reading it. I'll probably finish it in January. Um, Babel by R.F. Kwan. This is another one that I have started. I need to buy my own copy of it. I'll probably be reading it for a book club in like February or March. And then we have a third book, which is the next goal, in fact, and that is GEB, Godel Escherbach, An Eternal Golden Braid by Douglas R. Hofstadter. Th this book. Um, yeah, so that, that is goal number two, to read this book this year. <laughs> Um, and I have 
actually kind of started it. I've read the front matter and I'm ready to start on page one. If I read about 10 pages of GEB per day, I will finish it in two months. So that's kind of my idea to, to read this in the first quarter of the year. And yeah, hopefully I will like it. This book has come up so much. Multiple people have asked me if I've read it or recommended it to me. And I don't know, it just seems like one of those bucket list type of things. I'm not even sure what it's about. I don't even know if I'm gonna like it, but um, I thought this is the year I will attempt it. Now, in complete honesty, while I will give this book a really good shot, I plan on reading a significant percentage of it. If I hate it, <laughs> I will not finish it. Like I, I will DNF this book if I need to, but I'm hoping I will enjoy it. Um, and it's gonna be challenging, but hopefully not boring challenging, because that that's the reason I would DNF it. If I just find it boring, then I won't read it. Um, but yeah, we will see. This one I will probably try to provide regular updates on. Have I been reading GEB? Feel free to ask me. <laughs> so on to the third goal. The third goal is that I want to read two books in Spanish this year. I'd hoped to do this last year, but my plan to read a second book in Spanish just fell through for time's sake, but I'm gonna officially attempt it this year. And by this I mean not like little children's books, not picture books, which is mostly what I can get from my library. I want to read like actual chapter books, something aimed at like middle grade or young adult or even adult readers, and graphic novels will count if they are sufficiently advanced enough. So the first one that I read will probably be La Luna Negra by Salento Books, uh, which is from a list of books that a very, very kind person sent me when I asked for recommendations a long time ago. I still have the list, and I bought this one, and I will probably buy more books from that list when I need more books. So this will be one of the two. Um, I believe this is a middle grade science fiction novel, but it's been a long time since I really read the description of it. So. This will be number one. Don't know what the second one will be, but I do own two other books in Spanish that I've meant to read for years. I could pick up one of those and I could also just buy something else. So that is the third goal. And then the fourth goal is a personal enrichment challenge in tandem with reading in Spanish. And that is, I want to hit the halfway point on the Duolingo Spanish course. I have just, like as of yesterday, hit a 600 day streak on Duolingo. Uh, so I've kept up with it for going on two years now. I just started unit 68 and it's now getting into some topics that I don't know the vocabulary of and some grammatical stuff that I, n I didn't know very well from before. So it's gonna get a lot more challenging now. As far as I know, since Duolingo changed the structure of their courses recently, the halfway point of the Spanish course is unit 105, I think. So if I do approximately one unit per week this year, I will hit this goal, but it is gonna be far more challenging. So we will see. I'll be very happy if I do that. Um, even if I don't hit this goal, making more progress in this course now that it is um, not really review anymore is gonna help a lot with me just being able to read Spanish more. I should say as well that when it comes to Spanish skills. My goal has always been to be able to read in Spanish and also be able to to write somewhat in Spanish. I've always had pretty good reading comprehension in the language. That's just you know what works for me. Um, I have never aimed to be like conversational in it. <laughs> Uh, probably because I've never been very good at that. Um, maybe that will change at some point. I really need to find a way to listen to Spanish more. I've always wanted to get into like a TV series in Spanish or something, but I haven't found anything that I actually like. Feel free to give me recommendations, <laughs> but we'll see how that goes. Um, on to the next goal. 
I would like to get my physical TBR, that is the list of books that I actually own physical copies of, down to 12 books. I currently own 34 physical books. I have a shelf on Goodreads that lists 32 of them, and that's because the other two I can't find on Goodreads. <laughs> They're kind of weird books and they don't seem to be on there. Uh, so starting at 34, I want to get it down to 12. 12 books will push me to do more than just read like like one book per month. I'm still going to be buying books this year, maybe not a ton of them, but I will have to read like two or three of these per month at least, and I think that is sufficiently motivating. And also, just to be honest, there are some things on my TBR shelf that I have owned for years and I've never tried to read, and I may just decide to get rid of them. So this will be a kick in the pants to really evaluate whether I'm still interested in some of these books that I own, and I'll be happy if I if I get rid of some of them on read because I don't I don't need to waste my time on things that I don't care about anymore. It's like it's okay to change my mind. <laughs> And then along the same lines of that, my next goal is to shrink my Goodreads TBR to 200 titles or below. So my Goodreads TBR is just like a, a list of bookmarks, like what I've been interested in, things I don't want to forget about. So my want to read shelf is just kind of my declaration of interest in things. It's not like a very specific TBR. I'm committing to reading these things. And that's why I have made this a goal because I don't really care what this number is. What I care about is that there are so many books, dozens and dozens of books on my Goodreads TBR that I have never tried to read, that have been on that list for five, six, seven years, and I just need to think about them and you know, get rid of the ones that I don't actually care about anymore. I sort of did a round of TBR culling at the beginning of 2022, which was really interesting and very helpful. I just like, for all of like January and February, I would go to the library and I would check out just stacks of books from my TBR and I would sit down and just flip through them, read the first chapter and decide whether I actually was interested in them or not. And it was extremely effective. I like, just said sayonara to 75% of them. So I'm gonna probably do that again. <laughs> and just to trim this list down to things that I have come across more recently that I am more familiar with and that I think I'm still interested in. So I'm currently at 246 books on my Goodreads TBR, and I do think it's pretty reasonable to get it down below 200. Um, the number is gonna go up again, because like I said, this is how I like bookmark things I'm interested in, um, but doing a bit of an effort to clean it up and get it more up to date will be helpful going forward. Next, the second to last goal is to read 50 or more new releases in the year. So these would be 2023 publications. This is less of a goal and more of a statement of what I've always done, but I'm kind of interested in tracking it this year for whatever reason. I typically read like 50 to 70 new releases every year. I think if I like actually pulled up my statistics, it would show that. Um, I think I read 60 or so in 2022. So this is not a hard goal by any means. I just kind of want to keep an eye on it for my own curiosity's sake. No other real reason. And then the last goal is to do more buddy reads. And this one, I don't have any sort of quantifiable thing for this. I just want to do more buddy reads. I think maybe I did two last year and a couple of like book club chats. That's pretty much it. Um, and there are reasons for that, um, but I feel like I get more out of what I read when I read it with somebody else. And it's just, it's really good for feeling engaged in the community and feeling like I'm keeping up with my social life. <laughs> I've always found uh, buddy reads to just be a really good way to talk to friends. I'm one of those people who I'll disappear for a long time. So I just don't talk to some people as regularly as I should. I feel like I'm admitting like a personal flaw or something. <laughs> I'm just owning up to the fact that that's, that's just how I am. Um, but I feel really bad about that. And I always feel, I feel closest to my friends when I am talking to them regularly and buddy reads are often a way of like 
making sure that I do that and I have fun with it. So we'll see how that goes. If I do even like three or four buddy reads this year, I'll be happy because that will be more than I did last year. So that's it. That's this really quick list <laughs> that was pretty long of what I hope to challenge myself to do in the new year. And there are some other things that I want to do that are less quantifiable, more like projects. In fact, at some point I should probably do an update on projects of the past that I have abandoned that I want to try in the future. I have ideas knocking around for that, but I will save that for another video some other time if people are interested in it. But uh, yeah, I may add or subtract some of these goals later in the year. I do hope to talk about my goals and like update you guys on my progress more regularly this year. Um, my hope is that I can kind of adjust to doing more casual videos <laughs> that I don't have to do a lot of pre-planning for and that will be easier to edit this year. So chattier, more like Friday reads, currently reading updates and things like that and I can talk about um, my goals regularly too. See if that kind of format will work for me. Uh, so yeah, we will see. Let me know if you have set any goals for yourself this year. What do you want to challenge yourself to do? Leave me a comment down below. And as always, thank you guys for watching, especially when I haven't been around for very long. <laughs> and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.